This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. This is Jay with Car Guys New England, and today we're going to go over how to clean a modular Ford 4.6 liter uh, on my Lincoln Town Car. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do this video was uh, this is an engine that a lot of detailers dread. And the reason why uh, is because they tend to have a lot of issues after getting the engine wet. So I'm going to show you guys how to properly uh, take some precautions and uh, we're going to clean this engine up. I'll show you guys a quick shot of uh, what it looks like before here and then uh, we'll get started. And this thing is filthy. Just disgusting and dirty and uh, we're going to get started. And we have three products that I'm going to clean with today. Uh, for Real Heavy Grease Spitfire RTU, it's a commercial cleaner. Um, I, I recommend testing it on things that you're not sure if they're compatible or not. Uh, Simple Green is going to be our basic cleaner and what we're going to clean almost everything under here with. Uh, and then also I have a brush so we can just kind of scrub dirt out and uh, clean everything up. So. What we're going to do uh, is cover up the alternator to make sure no water gets in it. Um, and I saw that in a lot of other videos. But the one thing that they don't talk about is the coil packs underneath the uh, fuel rails. And water can actually get trapped underneath here and cause so many problems uh, on your modular Ford. Uh, so you're going to want to make sure that you cover that up before you do any cleaning, which we're going to do today. Uh, so I'll show you guys how that is done. So the first step would be cover the alternator, and you can just use a grocery bag to do that. Uh, then we're going to want to protect, I'm going to protect actually the fuel rails and the, um, and the coil packs. Uh, and I'm going to use garbage bags to actually do that. So at this point I've covered everything up. Uh, I can always do some detail cleaning uh, later on. Uh, just don't go crazy spraying the water in this area. Very light mist. Do not spray near the ECU if you have a 2005 plus Panther car, especially near the wires. Uh, and just be careful. Uh, don't go nuts with the water. Just enough to clean. And uh, also we're going to cover up the, um, the air filter, the air filter as well. is covered up. Uh, we are ready to start degreasing. Uh, it's best to start in one area and then kind of work your way slowly. Um, so we'll start in this portion of the engine bay and slowly just work our way around cleaning. So this area is pretty, pretty dirty. So we're just going to spray the simple green. Uh, also on the fender well, being careful of the wiring. Okay, now for the valve covers, I'm actually going to use the Spitfire, and the reason why is because it's such a good degreaser. I just want to get the heavy, nasty grease off of that, uh, off of the valve covers. So, uh, now what we're going to do and just pick an area and just slowly work with it and work the brush just cleaning and uh, once you get everything cleaned up and scrubbed then at that point you can rinse So at this point we're rinsing and uh, I have this tip on a very gentle setting and it's just so I don't get water into things that I shouldn't and uh, just gently cleaning that and just slowly work your way through. All right. And we're just going to clean once again, just real quick. We're just going to work off all the degreaser that we have scrubbed.
So at this point, using an air compressor, uh, we're just going to blow everything dry. going to remove the bags now that we uh, use the air compressor on the uh, engine compartment and then at that point we can start the actual detailing we got all the heavy grease and dirt out of here which is good and uh, things look new uh, like this reservoir here was filthy black and uh, dirty so it's definitely cleaned up a good bit we're gonna hit it with some more stuff uh, but we're just going to do it by hand. We're not going to be rinsing again with water. So I can now remove all this plastic. And there we go. And now we can start the actual hand cleaning. Carefully rub down everything to just clean it a little bit more. You can use other cleaning products if you wish. Um, right now I'm actually not using anything crazy. Uh, other than just cloth is slightly damp and uh, at this point now we can get everything pretty clean so, and there we go it's all cleaned up it's not perfect but uh, it's a lot better than it was so I'll show a before picture and here's the after a lot lot better so now the big thing is let's hop in the car let's make sure it starts up it's not misfiring or that we're getting any codes uh, because that's the big thing to worry about when you're cleaning up one of these engines all right so here's the moment of truth and no check engine light so we, and there you have it. That is how to properly clean a modular Ford 4.6 liter in a uh, Panther platform car that goes for the Crown Vic, the Mercury Grand Marquis, the Marauder, the Lincoln Town Car, and uh, I think I'm missing something. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to give it a like if you enjoyed this video or you thought it was uh, informational. Uh, if you have questions or comments, comment down below and I'll try to get back to you guys. But this is Car Guys New England. Until next time, take care.